The fourth option would be scan email PDF. Select this option, it will send an email with a PDF attachment to your email. Next button to push would be send an email. Select this key here. And at this point, you can do a search inside your global address book inside of Virginia Western, or you can do a manual entry. So to search, you would click on this key here. To do a manual entry, you would click, click on this key here. Manual entry, you would just type in the email address that you want to send to. Search will allow you to search for the person's name inside of Virginia Western. So if I was going to do a search for someone, I would type in their first name, click OK, or it could be their last name as well. Find the person that I want to send to, highlight their name. I could select multiples if I wanted to, um, but I'll select the one user here and then click OK. Same options as before, um, PDF Converter, it's going to make it a searchable PDF. If you want to turn that off, press this key. You can name the document here under Document Name. Or you can go into your scan settings there. Click on the Preview key here to turn on Preview. And then press the, the Hard Start key. This will bring the document up on screen. You can zoom in, check the quality. If it's OK, click Send. If not, you can cancel the sending. Once the scan is complete, click your Logout key, and that will take you back to the main screen so you can scan another document. Um, keep in mind when you're doing scan the email, it's recommended to send the email back to yourself. Um, you can send directly to someone um, that's outside of the campus, um, but if you need to verify that the document's sent or they need to reply back to you if they have a question about your document, it's always best to select yourself, um, go back to your desktop, and then forward it out from there.